Okay, Aries. So, Saturn enters Pisces on March the 7th. Let's get into it for Aries Risings and Aries Suns. The first major change of March arrives right in tandem with the full moon. So that same day, a full moon in Virgo takes place. You guys can go and listen to your full moon, uh, your full moon in Virgo um, for each of the signs as well. And we're going to do a subsequent moon pool, which you guys already know that we do. All right. So it arrives on the same day with the full moon. March the 7th, Saturn, the planet of structure, foundations and long term goals will start a three year tour in Pisces and it will bring healing to your 12th house Aries. All right. So let's get into what the 12th house is. It is the house of subconscious. All right. The 12th house, also called the house of unconscious, is ruled by Pisces and the planets Jupiter and Neptune. Pisces is associated with emotions and creativity. Therefore, you can look at this house to learn more about your imaginations, feelings, and subconscious mind, which exit, which exists or operates beneath or beyond the consciousness. Placements in the 12th house indicate private strengths and weaknesses and how people confront and learn from their past actions. Of course, some astrologers believe that you can also look here to find out clues about old age and the afterlife, okay? So, between now and February 13, 2026, the Rain Planet will be serving up tough but important lessons about boundaries, spirituality, and your inner state. This is a time of major growth, Aries, and you may be called upon to make mature decisions or learn new skills that take time to master from your emotions and mental health to your subconscious and mindset, the saying as within, so without, will ring especially true. Saturn was last in Pisces from May 21st, 1993 to April 7th, 1996. If you're old enough to remember what was happening during that time, look back for clues that may resurface now. And if you were born then, this will be your very first Saturn return. So congratulations to you. The challenge will be balancing and contrasting energies of structured Saturn against the boundary blurring tendency of, of Pisces in your 12th house. You may become keenly aware of your relationships that are in need of firmer parameters. Maybe you didn't notice it, or maybe it's just a new Saturn phase, but people who demanded too much of your attention will start to seem irritating if not outright effing draining. Aries, you're the sign of an individual and you need me time. Sacrificing your autonomy does nobody any good, okay? So what will you do with this newfound calendar space? With Saturn um, going through this spiritual and imaginative zone, your creativity pursuits could finally get dedicated time. If you've got aspirations to be a healer, or study a spiritual modality, Saturn will definitely support that. But remember, this is a slow cooker, not a microwave. This planet goes slow. So serious study, dedication, and hours will be required because Saturn is, it, Saturn's goal is mastery. All right? Translation, you'll have to keep that Aries impatience in check. Steer clear of false gurus and unqualified experts and go for the real deal. Similarly, don't hang your shingles as a pro for anything that you have not been certified or properly trained in, okay? Also, have you outgrown some friendships in your life? You'll be saying goodbye to Saturn and Aquarius, which has been there since March 21st, 2020, strengthening your ability to play well with others. Ever since the pandemic's official start in the United States, Aries have had to learn important lessons about teamwork and collaborations, not always your strength as the Zodiac's boss. But looking back over the past three years, Aries, you'll notice that your inner circle may have gotten smaller and it's a whole lot tighter now and mightier, all right? So in Saturn's final Aquarian week, you may decide to officially join a collaboration 
or exit from a leadership role in the group. Don't be surprised if it's a front burner issue now with Pluto moving into Aquarius in the next couple of weeks. So that is how it may be affecting you. We will get into Pluto moving into Aquarius as well. And thank you so much, um, Aries. I'll catch you in your next one.